sweeties, this is Erica Johnston. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the effects that the sun has had on my hair over the past almost two years. So for those of you who've been watching my videos since the very beginning, you know that I talk a lot about yellowing in my hair. Today's video, we're gonna talk about my nemesis, <laughs> yellowing hair. So I'm gonna to try to worry less about the the um, yellow bits that I have in my hair. I it is my hair yellowing. And I realize that while I'm on camera here, you can't actually see the yellow. <laughs> so I'm sure that all of you must think that I'm just a little bit crazy. I've sort of attributed it to different causes. And originally I kind of thought maybe the yellowing was caused by using a straightening iron, which that you know could be part of it. Um, I also thought it was due to shampoos that I was using that had a little bit of a yellow tint to them. I was using Pantene Pro-V shampoo and conditioner um, on the days that I wasn't using my purple shampoo. So I started thinking like, oh, well, maybe it's the shampoo that's causing my yellowing. I also had my hair toned to silver color and the toner itself left a little bit of yellowing. So I feel like I'm constantly in a state of growing out yellow hair, like just since the very beginning, you know, I bleached my hair blonde and, you know, so right off the bat, it's just been like a growth of yellow. Right now I'm at the 22 mark, 22 mark. Right now I'm at the 22 month mark. So I've got two more months until I hit my two year anniversary, silver hair anniversary of ditching the dye. Yeah, and so you'd think after two years you wouldn't be still growing out yellow hair, but uh, no, I still am. So I realized after this summer that I had a lot more yellow than usual. We had a beautiful summer here in Canada. It was absolutely gorgeous. I was outside all the time. I tried my best to you know, wear a hat if I was sitting by a pool, that sort of thing. But if we were just going out for hikes or, or just anywhere, like outside all the time, um, I didn't necessarily always wear a hat. I mean, I think I even did some filming outside by the pool without a hat on. The, the reason why I realized that it was actually the sun and not my straightening iron that was causing it is because the yellowing is only in the areas where the sun hits. And so I wore my hair mostly up like this in the summertime or back at a ponytail. So all of this part here, this, this front part, which I've been trying to get rid of the yellow, it is yellow. And the same thing here, you know, this part here, because it was up in a ponytail, is yellow. Right now it's January and we are in winter here in Canada. And, you know, I do go outside, but not to the same degree. And if I do go outside, I'm wearing a toque. So now I've actually noticed, still using my straightening iron, that the outgrowth that I've had since the summertime is not yellow. It is back to my normal, beautiful, sparkly silver color. So that's how I know that 100% my yellowing was caused by the sun. So I am planning on taking huge precautions next year. I know this sounds like such a big deal, but for me it kind of is. Like I feel to me that's what's more aging is, is having those sort of yellow streaks. So I talked about this in a past video, but I'm going to show you again. This is Avita Sun Care and it's a protective hair veil. So even in the wintertime right now, if I'm outside for a long period of time, I've been, I've been using this and it's really nice. I thought when I first bought it, I thought, oh, it's just going to be greasy and gross and all that, but it's not, it's wonderful. So if I'm outside going for a run, like a long run, I will spray this onto the ponytail and onto the top of my hair. So I will keep you posted on this and hopefully this will do the trick. And then I still use my frizzies, my John Frieda frizzies uh, to prevent damage from heat tools just in case, you know, because I don't want to add extra <laughs> issues. So that's basically it. So this is just a quick video this week, just to let you know that I finally found out what was causing the yellowing in my hair. And I am not going to try any more potions or things like that to, to make the yellow disappear because I've used so many purple shampoos, um, 
you know, I've tried like that hydrogen peroxide mixture that I created. I've done a lot and I, I think that in the end it's just a matter of growing it out and moving on. Yeah. So that's where I'm at and I just want you to know that if you are in the beginning stages of growing out your hair, just be careful in the sun, be sure to wear hats and protect your hair because you do want it to look beautiful and silver or white or grey or whatever colour it is. You don't want it to be sort of that dull, yellowy, streaky colour. Especially when you spend a lot, a lot of time growing out your hair, you don't want to have to have more time growing it out. So, yeah. Oh, are you coming in the video? Yeah. Aww. Oh, Everett's here. He's here to say hi to everybody before I say goodbye. So wait, what? You're saying goodbye now? Yeah, oh. I was just gonna say goodbye. Just talking about my my hair and the sun and the effects of the sun on my hair. So. The thing is, is it's not only my my silver hair that has been affected by the sun, it's also the brown hair, right? Like I sort of have darker brown hair, which has lightened. And that's sort of how I know too, that it was the sun that caused it. So anyways, do you have anything you want to add? No. No? Totally off topic, just wanted to add this to the video, but um, I've had a few of you ask me whether or not I do anything to my eyebrows, whether or not I tint them. What? You don't. No, I don't. These are my natural Bert and Ernie brows that I've had since I was a little girl. And I've had these since I was a little boy. Yeah, you've had those since you were a little boy, that's true. So I literally as a child had black, you know, practically, what is her name? The Frida something or other. I've, I've literally had, you know, these thick black caterpillars across my face my whole life and I, in the 90s I plucked them to within an inch of their lives and I'm really glad that I stopped doing that because apparently you know you keep plucking too much and eventually they don't grow back so no that's for your hair okay. so I have been getting white hairs in my eyebrows seriously yes white hairs I will tell you this if I get to the point where I need to do any tinting or any dyeing of my eyebrows, I will let you know. I'll be sure to let you know. Because uh, I'm not going to let these ladies go white. I just am not ready for that. That's that's too much. So, on that note, I think I will say Arrivederci. Does that mean goodbye? In I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll say Sayonara. Au revoir. Au revoir. Um, Feliz Navidad? No? No. Okay. If you haven't yet subscribed to my mom's channel, go down to the comments and, uh, I mean, go down below the video and press subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then click the bell. Yeah, the click bell. Click the notifications bell. Yeah, that will notify you if uh, I post new videos. Yeah. All right, so take care and until next week. Bye, bye for bye. now. Bye for now. Hey, ladies. Hey ladies, hey, <laughs> the effect that the sun has had on my hair and how it's wreaked havoc. I have lots of videos on turning silver, <laughs> no. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the effects that the sun has had on my hair. Not the effects that my sons have had on my hair, no, I'm <laughs> just kidding. And I have kind of attributed it, attributed? I've attributed. Started noticing. Oh, I also. Uh, I also. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what is her name? The Frida, something or other. Um, I should know that woman's name, Frida. That's really bad. Frida. <laughs> Frida. You know who Frida I'm talking about? Alibi. The one. You know the. Uh, is that her name? No. Oh. I'm just joking. Okay.